Okay, so have you ever wondered what happens if you actually click on a link from a uh, Steam scammer from a compromised account? First off, do not do this. Do not do this at home. Uh, they could get your account even if you are perfectly well behaved. Um, Valve's programmers have uh, been have demonstrated incompetence before, and so they could they could screw up again, and you could you could be subject to a one click or a zero click attack. Um, so do not do this at home. Do not do this at home. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I've got this message from a compromised account. Get 50 to Steam balance. I'm just going to click on this. And oh, it looks like Steam's website. Um, obviously it's not. As you can see, steamscomnunili.com. Obviously not the real website. Um, the real website has a, um, you know, extended validation certificate. This one's just less encrypt or whatever. Uh, <laughs> they paid for a GTS cert. That's really funny. Um, anyway, so you say, well... It's a scammer website, but, you know, I've got my antivirus, or I trust, you know, whatever. I don't think... I think they're just a scammer. I think they're a scammer and not a hacker. If you if you want to proceed under that assumption, so you start clicking around, right? Um, and again, don't do this at home. Um, as you can see, um, this window's popped up. Now, on my system, because I'm running a dark theme on the, uh, the, the quarantined Steam user account, um, this is, you know, clearly a mismatch. And that should set off some red flags. Uh, another red flag that's unique to me personally um, is that I'm running uh, LibreWolf, but um, this is saying, oh, it's Steam Firefox. Um, but what's important to note is if you just looked at this, and let's say you were on Firefox, you were on Chrome, or you were on Windows, or there was some other reason that this did not have all these red flags, you just say, well, oh, you know, it's a, it's a third-party website, but SSO can't harm me, right? And that's right, SSO cannot compromise your account, but this is not SSO. This is a fake window made of HTML. This is not steamcommunity.com. This is a JPEG of steamcommunity.com. Now, technically it's not a JPEG, it's, you know, a canvas or rendered HTML elements. It's pixel perfect, whatever. This is not steam, like, this is just a picture that they're showing you of the word steamcommunity.com. This is not real. Um, so if you type something into this, you're literally going to be typing your credentials into their, uh, comp, you know, into their sketchy website. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. Now, something you might want to do, though, if you say, well, how can I report this? Um, here's what you can do, is you go to bgp.he.net. This is um, basically how you can report This is like calling the police if the police actually did something. Um, you just paste the domain in there, hit search. <laughs> And what you'll do is you'll just go to, uh, let me see, IP records. Um, just look at which, whatever one of these has the lowest number or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, oh, never mind. It's Cloudflare. Um, so then what you'll do is you'll just go to um, abuse form. And you click reporting abuse. You go ahead and grab the, uh, the sketchy link. And oh, that's the wrong button. This wasn't the abuse. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I'm blind. Um, phishing and malware, your credentials, and uh, so basically you're just going to go down to this uh, logs, this evidence URLs, put that there, um, but logs are evidence of abuse, and you can copy the message, I guess, that would probably be a pretty good idea. And here's what's really, don't check, include your name and contact information, because you don't want to dox yourself to these uh, scammers. <laughs> but uh, normally Cloudflare will nuke these websites, uh, I've seen them do it within 12 hours within six hours um, it's pretty good and just you know keep, keep it expensive for them keep this is like calling the cops if the cops actually did shit with cyber crimes um obviously it could have been a different website we're really lucky in this case that it was cloudflare um but if it's not what you'll want to do is you'll just click on that first a record go to who is and control f for abuse and um normally they'll list and so look up uh org abuse email that's that's usually the one you want is org abuse email um and i guess you could submit an email to cloudflare i think that they um just tell you to submit their online form yay <laughs> uh, anyway just go out there uh stay safe uh obviously don't do this unless you've got a burner account on a quarantine computer on a blah 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 i mean uh Probably no one but but nobody but cybersecurity professionals should even be attempting this, you know, technically speaking. But just if, if you're not a cybersecurity professional, just watch out, you know, for SSO before you type your password into something. 
Um, just, just check to make sure it's a real friggin' window, not a picture. It's like, yeah, just stay safe.